What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video. Now, in this video we gotta talk about a few things about this NBA 2K20. I get a lot of us are very excited for the release. I am too, you know what I'm saying? I might pre-order my Jones sometime next week, next month, I, I, I don't know yet, but I am getting NBA 2K20. Now, if you guys didn't see the last video, I already talked about doing a giveaway, so y'all already just, just watch that video and you'll know everything that you need to do to enter in this giveaway. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the nitty gritty of just this whole video. So there's been a lot of talk about NBA 2K20. We've been getting leaked screenshots, leaked gameplay. We've been getting a whole bunch of stuff lately and it's time to talk about some of this stuff. All right. Now, trust me, I know a lot of you guys are kind of young, so you believe what you see, and sometimes everything that you see isn't true, all right, especially from just anybody, you know what I'm saying, you, you gotta have some type, you just gotta take everything with a grain of salt, just keep it that way, all right, just be realistic, and if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, then you're not gonna be upset. But some of the things that we are experiencing and looking at with this whole NBA 2K20 leak this month has been pretty much similar characteristics of NBA 2K17. So a lot of people are showing jump shot, you know, meters and all that other stuff. And I do feel that the jump shot meter is cool, especially if it came from NBA 2K17. But I do feel that there's going to be an option to where we can put it back at our at our head and there, there's going to be options you know what i'm saying i really don't think that nba 2k is going to take that away from us after you know recently just giving it to us so we just got the meters this year in 19 and i'm trying to keep it the same i'm trying to keep it the same we we can switch we can swap we can change everything i like it so the next thing that i want to go ahead and talk about i did not add any screenshot in of this especially because it was way too blurry and i'm not gonna have us just confused now i did see a lot of this off of badge plugs video so if you guys want to watch that video go to his channel and just watch the video about the leaks and all that stuff but looking at that blurry nasty screenshot we do see that takeover the whole takeover system will be making a return in nba 2k20 but with the screenshot being you know low quality it does seem to have a little bit of a kind of like a grand badge pro kind of look to it now, I don't know if the Grand Badge is going to come back. I don't know if it's just going to be TakeOver. Honestly, to me, I really don't care. As long as my dude can play like a superstar, y'all not going to hear no complaints from me. So this is very cool. And now I got a few screenshots that I would really like to share with you guys. Just to see what you guys think. Please leave comments down below. Let's take a vote. Do you think NBA 2K20 is going to be great or is it going to fall in line just like all those other 2Ks that we just got so hyped for, and then it ended up being boo-boo at the end. Y'all let me know that down below in the comment section, but the first screenshot that I want to go ahead and talk about is this one right here. Now, this screenshot was leaked. No telling if this is actually true or not, so don't really go running with it, telling all your friends, but this tweet right here states that there appears to be a new coverage percentage system for jump shots on NBA 2K20. Now, if this is it, then we'll actually be able to see if we're, you know, what percent of us are open or smothered or covered. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it will be a great addition. I feel like it should be one of those things to where you should have control over it just to see what you want to do and like give it, give us options. You know what I'm saying? Give us options. So if I wanted to put that meter on, then I could see what percentage of the chances of me shooting that shot was covered or what percent was open, you know what I mean? So I feel like if they can give us a variation between whatever we want, then I don't think that there's gonna to be too many complications or too many problems with this right here. But like I said, this is all just, you know, whatever. This is just being thrown out there. I don't know if it's true. Don't know if it's false, but y'all let me know what y'all think about a system being a game such as this one. Now, this last screenshot that I have to go ahead and share with you guys is probably the most important screenshot that I've seen since 
NBA 2K20 leaks have even started. Now, this was a leak and it seems like it might just be confirmed. I'm not too sure because I'm a firm believer of I got I got to be feeling and touching on the game before I can go ahead and say that this is going to be true. Now, the last screenshot is the best, so I had to save the best for last, and I feel that this will change NBA 2K20 for the for the greater good, I guess. So this is what's really going to change the game for us right off the early. This screenshot right here says it all. Now, this was a screenshot that was tweeted by the user named Toxic, all right? Now, in his tweet, it says, in NBA 2K20, the attribute system will be similar to NBA 2K17, where instead of 2K19, the game chooses that what you upgrade, you can choose what you use your attribute upgrades on, rather than the game choosing for you. You will still have attribute caps depending on your archetype. Now, this is very good news because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were just so over the fact that 2K chose exactly what you can excel at and what time you're going to be able to excel in it. So, it's one of those things to where at jump, you might actually be some comp. Now, shout out to those people that started off with those builds that were just pure boo-boo in the beginning and then just turned into demigods later, you know, closer to that 99 overall status, but there won't be any more of that. So for you sharpshooters or for you playmaking sharps, you guys can go ahead and attack the ball handling, speed boost that will, and also attack your three-point shooting. So it's one of those things to where... I feel that there is a great sign of relief through a lot of you guys that are trying to stay on the same build as NBA 2K19. You guys already know the grind and this is definitely going to help you guys out just in September. Like you guys can be pretty dope. You know what I mean? Like you guys can be pretty legit. Put your VC on your dude and boom, you guys can speed boost now. Magic. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this tweet right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the idea of y'all just being demigods at day one. I really like the idea. At least you guys can be able to shoot. You ain't got to wait for your animations to kick in. You don't have to wait till you get dual takeover to actually play the way that you want your player to play. I think this is a brilliant idea and I hope 2K actually does this and we are gonna see. We are gonna see that time is coming around the corner. We're what, two months away? A little bit of change left, to, bro. I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell. But until next time, it's been your boy C-Note and I'm getting up out of here, peace. What's it gonna take to get a milli, uh? Pop up and turn the VIC, I'm getting silly, uh Whole club turn the VIP when we step in the building, uh I got money going up, I treat it like my children, uh Can't stop me, I been going hard today Cross up like Jesus or Penny Hardaway, uh I can't take the easy route, got the harder way I been sipping scissor, but I'm barely walking straight, uh